The CPU or processor is the second most important component when it comes to gaming, especially if you want to achieve a high FPS smooth experience. If you get this component wrong, you are probably going to be bottlenecking your graphics card, which means that the performance is going to be a disaster with a bunch of FPS drops. For that reason, I've made this video where I will explain to you how to find the perfect CPU for your budget and needs, and I will also show you specific CPU recommendations. The link to to these CPUs will be down below in the video description. My name is Valentino and if you find valuable information throughout this video, leave a like and subscribe, it's going to help the channel grow a lot. With that being said, let's start. So how do you find the perfect CPU? The reality is that if you want to find the best CPU for your budget and your needs, firstly you need to know if it's going to be a good choice for your graphics card. These two components work together. So buying the most expensive CPU and not having the most expensive graphics card will not give you the fastest performance possible unless the games that you play are very CPU demanding, more on that later. To be fair, in most games the main component is going to be the graphics card and it's going to determine the amount of FPS that you get, so the level of performance. That being said, you should always pick a CPU that's good enough not to bottleneck your graphics card and this does not mean that you should get a low-end CPU with a high-end graphics card, it only means that as long as your CPU is not bottlenecking your graphics card then that's going to be the the perfect CPU and GPU combo, so search an ideal CPU for your GPU. However, there's a caveat to this. If you play esports games at 1080p competitive settings, well, my answer is going to be different. Here, the CPU is quite more important, which means that you should get a more balanced CPU and GPU combo, especially in Fortnite and CS2. In one of the latest tests from Hardware Unboxed, it's been shown that getting a faster CPU with a slightly slower GPU is going to give you faster performance in these type of titles at 1080p. So here it's not about getting a CPU that's good enough not to bottleneck your GPU. Here it's about getting a faster CPU. And the same goes for CS2. As you can see on the screen, the numbers at 1080p are better for the faster CPU and slower GPU, but keep in mind that this is only at 1080p resolution, so if you want to play at 1440p or 4k, this is not going to apply to your situation. So, how do you know if your CPU is going to bottleneck your GPU? Let's say you are searching for the best CPU for your GPU. In that case, I made an entire video talking about CPU and GPU combos that you will have in the top right of the screen because the answer is not so straightforward and it would take a lot of time from this video to explain to you how to find the perfect CPU and GPU combo. So if you want to find out, I recommend you watching that video after watching this one. Now let's go through the best CPUs for gaming in 2024 for different budgets. I will show you the best CPUs with the minimum, maximum, best value graphics card you should pair with these CPUs because remember, as I said before, I cannot give you a CPU recommendation if I do not know your graphics card. Keep in mind that prices change all the time, so maybe when you're watching this, the price is slightly slower or maybe it's a bit higher. For that reason, I highly recommend you checking the latest pricing and availability from the links down below. So, if you're working with a tight budget, I recommend you getting the Ryzen 5 5500 or i3 12100F. Both of these CPUs are going for under a hundred dollars and they are amazing when it comes to gaming, especially if you have a hundred and four. 44Hz 1080p monitor. With these CPUs, you will be able to achieve a 144 plus FPS in games like CS2 or Valorant, competitive settings, depending on your graphics card. And in more high GPU demanding games, well, the GPU is more important in that case. And the minimum GPU that I would pair with these CPUs is the RX 5600 XT from the used market. Then the ideal GPU for these CPUs is the RX 6600 or Intel Arc A580. And the maximum GPU that I would choose for these CPUs is the RX 6750XT, which is going to be a great choice if you want to play at 1440p resolution. Now, with the best mid-range CPU, we have the i5 12400F. This one is going on a nice discount for $110. In my opinion, this is an amazing price for a CPU like this one because you can pair it with a lot of GPUs in the market, especially if you want to play at 1440p, but you can also play at 4K depending on the graphics card, and you can achieve 240 plus FPS on average at 1080p competitive settings in games like Fortnite or Valorant, once again, depending on the graphics card. Now, the minimum graphics card for this CPU is going to be the Intel Arc A580 or RX 
6600, the ideal graphics card is going to be the RX 6650 XT or RTX 4060, and the maximum graphics card that I would pick for this CPU is the RX 7800 XT or RTX 4070, especially if you want to play at 1440p or 4K resolution, depending on the games. The 7800 XT is not ideal for 4K or the 4070, but if you play easy to run games, 4K is definitely possible on high to ultra settings. Now, if you have a bit of extra money to spend, we have an upper mid-range CPU, and this one is the Ryzen 5 7600, which is an amazing 6-core 12-thread processor that you can pair with basically any graphics card in the entire market except for the RTX 4090, and in that case, if you have a 4090, I do recommend you spending more on your CPU, but anyway, this one is great, and it will allow you to play at 360 plus FPS on average. I used this CPU in this PC right here, which is my affordable Fortnite game gaming PC for under thousand dollars, so if you're looking for a complete PC build to play Fortnite for under a thousand bucks, I recommend you watching that video in the top right of the screen, and trust me, it will allow you to play at very high frame rates in this type of games. Now, the minimum graphics card is the RTX 4060. The best value graphics card is the RX 7900 GRE or RTX 4070 Super. And then the maximum graphics card I would pair this CPU is going to be the RTX 4080 Super or RX 7900 XTX. Both are ideal for 4K resolution ultra settings. The reason why I didn't pick the i5 13600K, which is the current CPU I have on my personal PC, is because it is more expensive than the 7600, it is not as power efficient, and it needs a bigger CPU cooler, so it's going to be more expensive overall. And in terms of gaming performance, it is basically the same as the 7600. So, in my opinion, there's no reason to go with the 13600K unless you are a content creator and you are not going to do just gaming. And even then, for content creation, the 7600 is going to be fine for most people. Now, if you want the fastest CPU that you can, then I recommend you getting the Ryzen 7 7800X3D, which in my opinion is the best high-end CPU in the entire market when it comes to price to performance as well. This power efficient CPU is going for around 340 bucks at the moment, and it will allow you to reach 500 plus FPS on average in competitive settings in esports games, but of course depending on the GPU. The minimum graphics card I would pick for this Ryzen 7 is going to be the RX 7800 XT or RTX 4070, then the ideal best value graphics card is going to be the RTX 4070 Ti Super or RX 7900 XT, which is ideal for 1440p Ultra, but also for 4K Ultra settings as well. However, you can go a bit higher if you want to play at 4K Ultra, and get the 4080 Super or 7900 XT, which both are good value as well if you have a lot of money to spend. And then the maximum graphics card is the RTX 4090, which is not good value, but still, if you have a lot of money to spend and you just want the best of the best for gaming, the 4090 is definitely going to be your best option. And the reason why I didn't go with the Intel i7 14700K here is a bit more expensive, it's not as power efficient, and in terms of gaming performance, it's going to be basically the same 4K resolution. However, keep in mind that if you play at 1440p or 1080p, the 7800X 3D is quite faster than the 14700K, depending on the game. Now, as bonus CPUs that I didn't mention, we have the Ryzen 7 7700 or 7700X. There's nothing wrong with these CPUs, the only thing is that the Ryzen 5 7600 has very similar performance for almost $100 less, and if you have around $300 to spend on your CPU, then I recommend you spending a bit more and going with the 7800X 3D, which is quite faster than the Ryzen 7 7700 or 7700X. So it's just the price, it's kind of awkward to be honest, but there's nothing wrong with these CPUs and if you already have one of these, then you are getting an amazing level of gaming performance anyway. So you may be wondering why didn't I mention a Ryzen 9 or i9 CPU, like the i9 14900K or Ryzen 9 7950X? Well, the reason why I did not mention these CPUs is because these CPUs are meant to be used for content creation and productivity work rather than just gaming. And trust me, spending $200 to $400 extra on a CPU that will give you no benefits for gaming is not ideal for you, and even if you do content creation, a Ryzen 7 or i7 processor is going to be perfectly fine for most people. You are only going to notice the difference if you are a professional content creator or you use Blender for 3D animations. Other than that, you are just not going to notice the difference and you are going to be spending a lot of extra money, not only on the CPU, but also on the CPU cooler and power supply because these are not as power efficient as the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D, for example, and as I said before, you are not getting any gaming benefits. 
And also remember that the GPU is super important and so is the RAM, storage, case, power supply. Basically every component inside of your system is very important and you can bottleneck any one of these components and get awful gaming performance. So I do recommend you getting my personal PC help. That's going to be the top link in the description and I will give you the perfect PC build, pre-built PC or laptop depending on your budget and your needs. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support. If you found valuable information, leave a like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.